Hi guys, my name is Timmy and today we're going to talk about another fragrance from the Swiss Arabians Exali Collection. This is one of their newer release. This one is called Chakav Oud Oswald. I have the fragrance spray right here and without further ado, let's jump right into the notes. Now the notes for this fragrance, we have top notes of woody, saffron, thyme, and rose, mid notes of coriander, cumin, rose, jasmine, patchouli, and agarwood, base notes of musk, sandalwood, leather, agarwood, amber and vanilla. Off the first sniff, you're gonna get instantly the incensey feeling of this fragrance. Alongside the incensiness, you have this really nice resinous amber, a warmth, some sweetness from the vanilla as well as a very base heavy fragrance as in not a lot of the top notes will show, not a lot of the lighter notes will show in this one. It's very bass heavy, it's very resinous, it's sweet, it's deep, but it's very sensual at the same time. This fragrance is borderline romantic. It really draws you in. It's sensual, it's warm, it's comforting. It's something that you would wear maybe when you're going on a date with that special person or even an anniversary. Something very special occasion involving another special person in your life. Add that or when you're at home having a movie night with your family or your girlfriend. It's just a fragrance that gives off this very comforting mood and a lot of people who smell this fragrance will probably enjoy it as well because there's nothing in this fragrance that can put a lot of people off. It's like again, it's warm, it's comforting, it's very straightforward, warm, sensual, and romantic scent. The incense in here work really well with the vanilla, the amber, and all the other notes combined in here to create a perfect sensual scent. In my personal opinion, this is one that I actually quite enjoy. After several hours in the dry down of this fragrance, you're gonna notice that the sweetness tends to tone down little by little by little until there's no more sweetness. But what still remains is the incense vibe. Although right now, it's more powdery, than it was at the beginning. And that's it in terms of development. It doesn't change all that much. You just lose the sweetness over time, but still it retains that sensual warmth that lasts absolutely throughout the fragrance. Now on to versatility. Who can wear this fragrance and when should you wear it? This fragrance is a complete down the line unisex fragrance, although it might lean a tad bit feminine due to how sweet it is, but a guy can definitely pull this off because the instancy feeling adds enough of a masculine darkness that a guy can easily wear this on a date. So either way, man or woman, they can definitely pull this off. In terms of season, I recommend this for the fall, spring, and winter. The instance might be a little too much for the summertime, might be a little too cloying, too thick, and it doesn't really fit the summer all too much, especially when the sun is blazing on your skin, that would absolutely be too much. So fall, spring, and winter, or even indoors, if you're in an air-conditioned room, that's totally fine. And for occasion, I recommend, again, on a date, special occasion, anniversaries, anything of that sort when you dress up a little bit more fancy and you're looking to be romantic and you're looking to have a nice special time. Now, if you tried Chakav Oud Oswald and you enjoyed, I highly recommend you check out Moudamayez. Now, Moudamayez is an easy to wear, friendly, masculine, incense type of fragrance. Now, this one does not have the note of incense in it, but the vibe that it gives off definitely has an incense in it. Now, the thing that's different between these two is that this one is warm, sensual, and sweet. This one is a daily wear for every man. So if you like incense type fragrance, if you enjoyed Oud Oswald, I highly recommend you check out Moudamayez. All right, that's it for Shakhav Oud Oswald. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.